Okay, hey guys, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. In today's video, we'll be checking out the uh, Xiaomi Mi 10T Pro, uh, 5G of course, uh, that I've been using for the past two weeks. Alright, so before I start, I know there's plenty of videos out there on YouTube reviewing this device like crazy. And of course, uh, in today's video, I just want to offer you my perspective uh, from a non-technical uh, perspective. So from an average user, this is what I think about the Mi 10T. I'm going to be sharing a couple of items that I really love about this device and a few items that I didn't really like. Right, so let's jump into this right away. Alright, first up, the first thing that I really like about this uh, Mi 10T Pro is the display. So right here, we do get a high refresh rate display. This is 144Hz. And bear in mind that this is just an LCD display, but the colors, the contrast levels on this display is really good. So for example, when I first used this device, and even up to now, I still feel that the contrast levels is great. Uh, it doesn't look like an LCD panel at all until you tilt the device to the sides. And there you can see that the viewing angles isn't that great. But I mean, most of the time you'll be looking at it head on, face on. So uh, definitely a very, very good display panel here, especially that high refresh rate as well. It's just so uh, reactive, so responsive, and just feels so buttery smooth. All right, so that's one thing that I like about this. Moving on, what I love about this device is also in the cameras itself. So I know we have a huge camera at the back here, and I don't want to talk about that bump, but we do have a very, very big sensor at the back. And yes, I'm not going to talk about the specs here, the numbers, but I'm going to show you a couple of samples taken from this device right here, and it isn't even edited. Everything you're seeing on the display right now is just directly out of this device. And here are a couple of photos. So it looks good even in a bright daylight. It looks good at night as well. And yeah, even under ultra wide or the main sensor, the images coming from this Mi 10T Pro is just really, really good. So comparing this to like flagship devices from other brands, not going to name any, uh, you could expect this to actually outperform or maybe just match those in those classes. So um, if you're looking for a great camera device, the Mi 10T Pro here shouldn't let you down. All right, moving on to another aspect of this device that I really love, and that is in the performance. So obviously, we're getting a top-of-the-line Snapdragon processor in here, uh, matched with tons of RAM, uh, obviously. And yes, that makes for a pretty good gaming experience. So I don't have to even talk about navigating this on the daily, uh, browsing your social media or even Facebook, YouTube and everything is just very smooth, obviously. But if you just talk a bit about gaming, uh, I'm very happy to say that uh, I do play a lot of Mobile Legends and gaming on this device has been very smooth. Uh, for some reason, I can't actually set Ultra in the graphics settings, but regardless, it was still a very smooth and pleasant gaming experience. Uh, the dual speakers, of course, uh, adds to the overall experience, but overall, if you're looking for a gaming phone, uh, you don't even need to look for gaming phones. This phone right here can perform uh, most of the times very, very well. All right, let's talk about the next point. The fourth thing that I like about this device is the battery. So we do have a huge battery in here that is able to last about two days on one single charge. So depending on your usage, you might get one and a half days, but I was able to stretch it uh, maximum to two days. And I'm very pleased with that because I don't have to charge it up very quickly. I only have to charge it every once in two days or so. So very happy with the battery life. I mean, even after gaming and using a lot of social media, I'm still able to get more than one day on a single charge. So pretty happy with the Mi 10T Pro here for that huge battery. Uh, last but not least, I uh, just want to highlight a little bit on that Haptix engine. So whenever you navigate or browse through the uh, the user, the, the UI over here on the Mi 10T Pro, uh, occasionally you'll have these tiny bumps in the uh, Haptix. Uh, it gives you a more engaging experience, I would say. You actually feel the, de the device itself. Even when it vibrates, uh, it does come out with this pretty good Haptix. So very, very nice to point out on this Mi 10T Pro. All right, so those are the five things that I love about the Mi 10T Pro. And here are a couple of items that I didn't really like. All right, so these are just minor issues with the device. And this is just based on my personal opinion. Uh, you might have a different take about that. And first up, let's start with the, the size of this thing right here. So this is a pretty huge device. And until now, I still find it a bit heavy for my liking. Uh, even when gaming sometimes, uh, it does feel a bit tiring to hold this device up. So uh, that's one thing. And, and again, this is my personal experience, right? Uh, apart from that, it is also a bit too thick for my liking, but I do know it houses the big battery at the back. So yeah, trade-offs here and there, but that's just uh, one thing that I didn't really like. Uh, the second thing that I didn't really like is the placement of the speaker. So uh, it's placed down here, and when I game, it just uh, covers up the speaker. So it is a bit tedious about that. I know I can rotate it to the other side, but if I do this, I'll be touching against the cameras and make the camera all uh, like full of fingerprints. So I prefer to just hold it this way, but yeah, again, that's just a tiny uh, complaint from my side. Moving on, another thing that I didn't really like about this device is the, what is it again? Okay, 
Alright, moving on to the another thing that I didn't really like about this device is the build quality of the buttons. Now, don't get me wrong, uh, the build quality of the Mi 10T Pro is really good. Like it's built really solid, uh, and it feels like a premium device, except for the buttons on the sides as well as the fingerprint scanner. Uh, they're a bit shaky, flimsy in mind, so you can actually shake them uh, a bit little here, here and there. Uh, you can also like this fingerprint scanner is also a little bit flimsy right there so uh, especially since i have to unlock the device most of the time using my fingerprint because we're wearing masks so uh, that's uh, got, got a bit annoying to me but that's just also another small issue all right uh, apart from that i think that's pretty much it i don't really hate this device if anyone asks me whether this is a recommended device or not uh, i would say that if your budget is under 2000 and you're looking for a really good device uh, the mi 10t pro 5g is actually something that you should consider uh, yeah it's pretty much it i it, i think it's the perfect all-rounder device it comes with a great display uh, it comes with a huge battery life great performance um, of course uh, it comes with great cameras as well so that's pretty much it for the mi 10t pro from an average user's perspective all right guys if you have any questions uh, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next one bye